Oh, hey, dude. I got a question for you. Yeah, man, what's up? Do you think I could be a world record holder? Why? What's so special about a world record? I mean, there's so many things out there to do. Like, I've got to be the best at something, right? You play Genshin Impact, just give up. Hey, man, come on, don't be like that. Everyone is unique in their own ways, and even if you aren't the best at anything, it shouldn't matter as long as you try. See, see, thank you. And I'm sure there's something you're the best at. Like, if I had to guess, I would say you'd probably be the world record holder for fitting these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is the world's largest rubber duck. This is the world's fastest man. And this is the world's longest without touching grass record holder. <laughs> <clears throat> Humans have long been fascinated by world records, but what do they actually mean? Does it show that you're the best at something? Does it assert your dominance over everyone else? Why does it matter? The answer? Because it's cool. That that's why it matters. And today, I will be trying to give my ego some more positive reinforcement by attempting to break some Genshin Impact world records. I searched all over the internet to see if there were any established records I could potentially snag. However, it uh, seems that apparently nobody else cares about world records in a single player gacha game that doesn't even matter in the end, so I had to come up with some interesting ones of my own. Now, now, I know what you're about to go down and comment. Anthony, why are you trying to get Genshin world records that don't even exist? And my answer to that is, uh, on the count of three, everyone watching this video, is gonna go down and hit the subscribe button as fast as they can, okay? I am on a speed run to 1 million subscribers on YouTube. This is technically a world record, right? A world record for Anthony Chen getting to 1 million subscribers and you can be part of it too. Go down and hit the subscribe button. Want to know what it is? Well, allow me to introduce you to Boksu. A monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight to your door. Each month features a different theme, so you'll always have something fresh on your gourmet journey through Japan. The first Boksu you'll receive is the Seasons of Japan's box, and it's produced by their snack experts to give you a taste of Japan's four seasons. This month's theme is Boksu Tanjobi, and it's packed with delicious snacks along with a cultural booklet that tells you all about each snack and where it comes from. So if you want to try some awesome Japanese snacks and support the channel, click the link in the description and use code Anthony Chen for $15 off your first Boksu order. Yeah, and you can use code Anthony Chen for 15% off your- I know, isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, that's cool and all, but this is 911. Do you have an emergency? Oh yeah, there's uh, there's this guy who broke into my room and uh, he's actually right here. Three, two, one, go! All right, we are three seconds in and my game is not loading. Just just give it a second. My computer has been quite slow as of recently. Okay, come on, we're 20 seconds in. I don't, the, the bar hasn't even shown up on the screen yet. Is this allowed? <sighs> there we go, there we go, okay, okay. I suppose this is also a test of uh, internet connection speed and uh, computer capabilities. It, it's only taken 54 seconds in, uh, dailies. In a zoo, oh, Lyria, Lyria dailies, okay. That's not bad, that's not bad, near the teleport. Come on, please. Oh my god. You're telling me if I had like an amazing computer, I would be like so much better at this game? Okay, okay, on to the next. What, what is the time looking like? One minute and 47, are you serious? Over here. God, why is this commission so far away? Okay, we're two minutes in. This, wow, this is taking a little longer than I expected. Oh my god, are you serious? How many freaking enemies are there in this commission? I think if we can get under four minutes, we should be good here. Um, where is this commission? We have 30 seconds left to do two more commissions. Ah, just run past, just run past everyone. Go, go, go. Yes, get the energy boost. Move. 
All right. And then last but not least, Lyra. What is this commission? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? We are at. Oh my God. Wait for what do you want? Oh my God. Not the text. Not the text. Yes. Okay. Add Astra. Add Astra. Shut up. I'm sorry. Yes. Stop the timer. It might look like a really bad time. If we remove uh, how long it took me to, you know, actually load into the game, that's like two minutes right there, okay? So technically this is like a 325, and then we can take out the loading in between like uh, teleport waypoints. That's like another 30 seconds. And then discounting all the time it took me to travel, if we're talking about just pure daily commission time, that's like 30 seconds. So we can compromise, okay? 45 seconds as my uh, official submission for the uh, <clears throat> daily commission world record record the speed run. Okay, now I know this world record might seem like a really specific and desperate attempt to get any world record I can get my hands on, because it is, uh, but let me give you a crash course on good artifacts so this world record uh, actually makes sense. There are two things you need to know. Crit rate and crit damage are good. Defense is bad. Yeah, uh, that's it. Everyone knows that streamers have unusual luck when they're streaming, right? I will demonstrate it right now. On a normal day, I might get like, you know, regular fortune, modest fortune. But when I'm streaming, my luck is just crazy good. Look at this. Great fortune. Okay, well, so I'm gonna roll five artifacts here. And in one of these five artifacts, there's gonna be a 50 crit value piece. Just watch. All right, to give us give ourselves the greatest chance of uh, obtaining 50 CV, we need a four line start with crit damage and crit rate. Apparently, I don't have any of them. Um, come on, there's gotta be some. Oh, here we go, here we go. Crit damage, crit rate. Should we feed something? All right, this piece is not gonna end up like this one where it hit absolutely nothing. This is gonna be 30% crit damage and 10% uh, crit rate. Anything but defense. Is it 50 CV? God damn. We still have four more tries. Oh, a max piece right here. Yeah, good luck. All right, come on. It's fine. It's fine. What we're what we what we care about is the rolls from here on out. It's not gonna roll into defense. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. We're not doing this. Nope. In the wilderness of Tavat, it's either kill or be killed. The harsh landscape of this region and its many predators make it a dangerous place for inhabitants. However, some have discovered mechanisms of surviving out in the world. As we can see, these pigeons have formed a symbiotic relationship with this creature here called Timmy. By staying close and offering companionship to this little boy with no friends, they can stay alive and obtain food in this otherwise uninhabitable environment. However, such relationships are short-lived as their natural predators are still on the prowl. Oh, what's this? A Gan Yu main who has no regard for the well-being of these pigeons, nor Timmy, is on the move. She stalks her prey in the bushes, waiting for the prime moment to strike. I'm going to snipe Timmy's pigeons from the Falcon Coast. It's gonna go straight here and land on the bridge. That is where the bridge is. Let's get some preliminary shots, I guess. How far can Ganyu shoot? Oh wow, that is pretty far. 
that was pretty far. Okay, you know, I, I think this will be easier than I expected. Okay, let's see where this lands, first of all. Um, wait, the clouds move? Oh my god, the clouds are moving. How am I supposed to aim at any- Okay, you know what, it's fine. Go here, and we'll just, like, you know, uh, shoot it. And let's see where this lands. Should be coming from- Oh, I see it. Oh. Alright, we might have to step up a bit. We'll shoot from, uh, from here. From this pillar right here. Take aim, and fire. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, we're so close, we're so close. You know, now that I think about this, this is such a useless world record. Am I, go, am, am, am I gonna go like in parties, like as a conversation starter? You know, I hold the uh, record for the longest kill for Timmy's pigeons in this gacha game called Genshin Impact. Okay, there shoot this is the one this is the one this is the one timmy your pigeons oh i i think we hit timmy on the head um does that count <laughs> does, <laughs> does that <laughs> does that count <laughs> uh we got a grand total of uh three Okay, I know what you're gonna say. Anthony, this is just an excuse for you to pull. Well, guess what, okay? You're right, you're right, I do wanna pull. That's why I'm doing this. Unknown to my stream, however, my master plan here is to actually lose the 50-50. Yeah, that's right. If I lose the 50-50 here, I have a shot at getting my one and only standard banner, beloved main, Chi Chi. I'm kidding, by the way. As you can see, I have stockpiled 28,399 primogems here. I am going to be going for the world record of most single pulls in one minute. I've trained many, many hours in AIM Labs. I've played Osu, so I'm pretty confident in like, you know, my flicking skills. I can press swish, skip, and just go back and forth. And my goal here is to hit at least 40 single pulls in one minute. Let's do a pity check. It's 22. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll even get a five star on the way. Are we ready here? In three, two, one, go. Skip. X, press X, come on. Oh my God, this is so slow. Wait, is someone keeping count? Can someone count? Okay, uh, what, wait, I've lost count. Uh-oh. I should have turned them into fates. That would be a lot faster, wouldn't it be? Why, oh my God, I've messed myself over. How many was that? <laughs> How many was that? 24 only? What? That was, that was so slow. <laughs> I should have done this. That would be so much faster. That would take out a whole click. That would be like at least 50. Try again. <laughs> what? All right, this is, this is a better way to keep track, right? We're making good progress. This is a lot faster than last time, at least. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <gasps> How many was that? 29 only? No, you guys have to be counting wrong. All right, you know what? That's not bad. 29 in one minute, that's like one, that's like almost exactly one pull every uh, two seconds. That wasn't bad, yeah most dream solvent collected in one week there are a total of six weekly bosses which means you can get a grand total of six dream solvent so i think this week we're aiming for six out of six in order to obtain the world record i need all six here which means i cannot drop a single dream solvent dream solvent archons Please look upon me favorably today. Does anyone know what the odds of, of uh, getting a dream solvent are? Just random? <laughs> Moment of truth. Yes! Ooh 
That's one for one. We're one for one here. We're one for one. One for one. Uh, let's go Senora. All right, five more. Only five more. Only five more. It's not that hard. It's actually very easy. There's a 50% chance to get Dream Solvent? And you know me, I always win my 50-50s. Oh my god, where are you going? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. This wasn't this wasn't a note that I just need Dream Solvent. We're fine. 50-50. It's a coin flip. It's just like tossing a coin in the air. I think there's something wrong with my game. Well, uh, in total today, we claimed... Honestly, I don't think we got a single one of... Uh, <laughs> I don't think we got a single one of the world records. Sorry, world records that we were going for. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine because uh, I hold the world record for most amount of chichis pulled in a single week. If you are watching this on YouTube, thank you for making it through the end of this video. Uh, <laughs> Hope you guys found that it was somewhat entertaining with the uh, idea of me claiming very epic speed runs and world records, even though that didn't happen. I hope it was still fun to watch nonetheless, because sometimes things don't have to perhaps make too much sense in order to be entertaining. After all, that is that is why I am a Twitch streamer, right? If you did enjoy that, please consider subscribing. We're almost at 1 million. I believe in us. We can do it. Uh, and join us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen, if you want to see any of these events done live. Thanks for watching, and uh, this is your number one Genshin Impact world record holder, signing out. Peace. You know, I thought this was supposed to go a lot better than it actually did. I was supposed to get at least, you know, three world records, even though no one actually counts world records. It, it's fine though, right? It's fine, it's fine. It, it was entertaining, right?